Hello and welcome to a video by Arch Pauly. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Hello, guys. This is Arch Pauly, and uh, I'm coming out with another video. Uh, sort of just uh, what what I'm planning on doing today is uh, I want to bring. I'm probably going to do release of sort of three videos. Uh, uh, all at the same time. Uh, I'll upload them all tonight. Um, by the way, if I start coughing uncontrollably, I've the worst something wrong with my throat. And I feel like I'm dying half the time. But um, but yeah, is that inform Alex? Oh, trolled by EA. I was so excited there. Yeah, um, um, yeah, I've got something wrong with my throat and I might just start coughing uncontrollably, but providing I actually start talking again, then everything will be fine. Um, yeah, I'm planning on doing about three videos. I want to open some, uh, Microsoft points, uh, now, just for the, the sakes of it. Uh, just a couple of packs. And then... I'm going to release another video uh, of me opening some packs later because obviously the new informs come out and it'd be nice to uh, see if I can get one of them even though it'll probably be a crap one if I do get them but you never know um, and then I'm sort of going to release a video um, I want to release sort of a Hmm, 83 Miller. <laughs> I want to release a comparison sort of video because um, I'm sure a lot of you know the FIFA Street demo came out yesterday and I was very excited for this. I love the FIFA Street games. Um, I say I love the FIFA Street games. I loved the FIFA Street game that they originally bought out on uh, PS2. Uh, Unfortunately, P uh, FIFA Street 2 and FIFA Street 3 were dire, to say the least. But I have played a little bit of uh, FIFA Street, uh, the new one. Uh, I, I call it I call it FIFA Street 2012, um, because they're not calling it FIFA Street 4, I don't think. But, um, yeah, I've played a little bit of it, and it is amazing. I do, on the other hand, have a couple of, I say problems with it. There are a couple of things in it that I think are a little bit curious, to say the least. But, um, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's sort of one of those things where I don't know how I've, well, I, I know I like it, you know, I've pre-ordered it, um, and by the time it comes out, I'm going to play the crap out of it anyway. But um, it's just it's one of those things. There are a few things that, that I think could be uh, maybe messed about with uh, when it comes out. But I'll talk about those in a later video. But um, Anyway, I'm getting closer to El El Shari. I still, I think that's how you say his name. But I'm hoping, with a bit of luck, I should I should have him tonight, and then I can start sort of uh, messing around with him and playing some games. Uh, but to be fair, if I sold one player, I could buy him. But I don't want to sell any any of my players because. I'm difficult like that, but what did we get? <sighs> so many contracts. As if I've not got the San Siro yet. That's crazy. I I think that's one of the good things about this game actually so far is the fact that we're this far into the game and um, like I'm still getting th like I I'm still getting uh stadiums and balls and stuff that I've not had before and I mean on FIFA 11 I mean I used to, I burn a lot of Microsoft points on FIFA 11 
Ultimate Team and um, through my original method. Uh, if you've not seen it, I I bought um, on FIFA 11. The way I got all my coins was in the first couple of week, in the first week or so of Ultimate Team, I bought. I'd say about a hundred quid's worth of Microsoft points, got the coins, and then used the m coins to buy Inform Di Maria for about, they were selling for about 30k, kept them for about two months, and they were worth 300k. And I think with the amount of Microsoft points I had or stuff, and I was able to get up to like, uh, sort of, I think I was able to get about 15, 20 of them. So, a hell of a lot of coins were available. Um, I've been reading recently about some fuck up he aided, actually, um, to do with informed Cellini. I'm not. Who on earth does Cellini play for? Hold on. It's Juve, of course it's Juve. Uh, Juventus. Um, 85, 85, apparently they messed up and they released an 86 version of him or something like that. Um, perhaps they've sorted it now, but a lot of people were saying that, uh, if you bought the 86 version, it would revert back to being the 85 version after you got it to your club which uh, you know is a massive fuck up on EA's account I think it's quite funny because it doesn't affect me in any way shape or form but that's just how much of an arse I can be sometimes but I can't actually see any on the trade pile at the moment so EA must have uh, rectified that so I check and see how much uh, that Muller sells for, because I'm pretty sure he's not always been 83. But I could be wrong. Perhaps he, oh, perhaps he has always been 83. Amazing. Clearly, I underestimate Muller like a boss, even though Greeny rips me a new one with him every frickin' week. Iron Robin. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Some some good players are currently looking to get informed. Uh, the team of the week has not been released yet. Uh, but uh, so naturally, there will be a super informed Cellini. I will literally give it a 99% guarantee that there will be a uh, a super informed Cellini. Um no Marco Marin this week, thank fuck. You know, another week I can sleep easy. Uh but I I don't know the team of the week. I didn't watch I I'd I'd be surprised if there's no Arsenal player in the team of the week because of the comeback they did. But bring in managers and give Arsene Wenger an inform for that. You know, that that's what I think they should do. Because uh, I think that would look terrifying, playing someone with a full inform team with an inform manager as well. You know, if they were quite... Make, make them quite rare, is what I say. But, um... But yeah, I, I've... I, I'm thinking about trying to do some kind of compilation video. I don't know how to do them sort of properly because, in a way, <coughs> I'm not massively good. I'm quite good at skill, but not amazingly good. So I guess I would have to sit here with like a pen and paper and jot down when the stuff, when the skill is and stuff that I need to edit it through the video I don't know it's I think it'd be a very long drawn out process for me but I can try and do one um, with my different teams as I've got 
a lot of players. I mean, I might try. In fact, the first one I do it, I might try to do it with uh, El Shari when I get him, because he's supposed to be quite skillful. I want to get this team underway. On actually, I am almost certain that I got. Well, first of all, I have a card for that. And I have reason to believe I have a center <coughs> a center attacking mid to center mid card somewhere hidden in amongst the rabble. There we go. Send that to consumables pile. I want to get this team sorted before for before I actually uh, get him, but apply consumable. As you can see, my consumables pile is just stacked to the rafters with uh, fitness and healing cards and stuff like that. Simply because people are not massive fans when they come against my team online. So, uh, they tend to try and hack me after I go about 3-0 up if they don't quit, which is not nice. But anyway, guys... Um, Thanks for watching this video. I'll redo my other two videos later. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. My voice is going. And, uh, yeah, favor if you want, you know. And g spread these videos to your friends, you know. I want, I want to try and get some more views and I'll start doing some giveaways and stuff. But, uh, anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. And I hope you have a good one. Bye.